And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some spider aggro. That's right, it's our other donation deck today. Uh, we're going old school with all sorts of spiders, including arachnoid host. That's right, whenever we summon grant our other sp spider allies plus two, plus zero. So we're going to try spiders in masters. We're going to be going wide. That's going to be the game plan. Hopefully getting three plus spiders in play to level up at least to be able to give them fearsome. But then our other payoff for going wide, of course, is going to be crowd favorite. So we'll have a very big overwhelm unit with crowd favorite. Then we'll be getting our attacks in, doing a bunch of attacking, and then hopefully getting them to under 10 life. Get Darius in play. Have So therefore have a leveled up Darius that can finish the job. Plus we have Atrocity to go along with Darius or maybe crowd favorite or arachnoid host. So, you know, we have some extra reach there with that atrocity. So there we go. That's that's our plan. Noxus Spiders with Darius. Um, yeah, classic spider aggro. That's our donation deck here. Let's go play five games over in ranked. We're going to take our spiders over to Masters rank. We'll see how they do. What's up, Slayer? Yeah, so we're, we'll be talking about all the new cards and everything um, after the patch one. Oh, I said one, two. That should be one twelve, right? Match 112 is what this should read. There we go. Once patch 112 comes out, Lisa and Tarek. Okay. Alright, I want to have like a good two drop. I want to find like a lease. A lease. Alright, not so good. All right, didn't work out. Hey, Almighty. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. I don't like these Eye of the Dragons. We're playing against a lot of Eye of the Dragons recent, recently, and I don't like it. At least just today. Daylight warms the heart and light. So I could glimpse beyond my own precious pet. Harvey. We, I could glimpse beyond my precious pet, draw two, and then put out two, four. We probably find another one mana card, play that also. So we have five things, and then our crowd favorite is the sixth thing. That probably works. Oh. There's a one mana thing. So I guess we'll replace one Spiderling with the crowd favorite. Because I think it's still probably worth playing the other Crawling Sensation. We could we could wait, I guess. We don't have to, but we get that extra plus one, plus one on the crowd favorite. That's probably worth it. Alright, turn four, seven, six overwhelm. And they nerfed <laughs> they nerfed a Bacillus Grider, which was what, a six four overwhelm? Or I guess it was what was it? It was a six five overwhelm? When they nerfed it? If I fall, so big. It was six four, right? Now it's five four. Yeah, it was six four before. Now it's five four. Well, 7 6 is a little bit bigger than 6 4. Alright, down under 10. So that's good for the Darius. Force is meaningless no. Alright, all right, we're going to try to stun. Keep that from attacking. So we could go right to combat, or we could play Skitterer first. And I'm pretty sure we play Skitterer first to pump up everything, make their draggling just a 1-1. One, one. Skitterer. I mean, I guess I could play Darius, though, also. Conflict is all in the mind. 
I guess I should just play this house spider and then have my frenzy skitter or Darius to just go over this spiderling. Breathe in, breathe out. So basically I have to have the stun card for the Darius. I guess, I guess Darius makes more sense. I have my orders. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go skitter or not. Uh, yeah, they just have hush. Quite rough. The dragon binds us. Back heretic. You spurn my gift. Have faith. I think I should have gone skitter. What is gained when we return malevolent? It would not have been able to block with um I the dragon. Yeah, it's a tough call. That was, a, that was definitely a tough call of which way to go. Ooh, what's that noise? I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. I don't really know why I played that hapless aristocrat. Really didn't need to. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Definitely a waste. All right, so question is... So we're playing Arachnoid Host and a Frenzied Skitter. It's just which order do we want to play them? I'll go host first. I do not want them to have another uh, hush. I do not want them to hush my Spider Queen Elise. I fight with the dragon's fury. All in the mind. Mm. That's quite rough. They passed me. I could have just attacked. That's quite rough. Yeah, hush is hush is a beating. It'll be nice to have that nerfed in about thirty minutes. Shield me. It'll be really nice to have that card nerfed. It sure saved my opponent this game. Your lesson begins. You spurn my gift. This is not the way the dragon binds us. Your lesson begins. So now with the Dragon's Rage, that shouldn't, that shouldn't really help me, because we don't, you know, we don't really need to get rid, rid of Barrier. Uh, you know, having it like the previous turn to get rid of Barrier would have been nice, but Each life, a rare this turn it shouldn't really matter.
The fight never ends. Look. Enter your spirit. Unyielding. Yeah, we should still get the 1-1, one, one, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, still got the 1-1. One, one. Conflict is all in the mind. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Doesn't really matter. We don't have, don't have too much of a chance here. Fade and be gone. I'll see this through. So like top deck atrocity. That's my best bet. Try to sacrifice this five two. Trespassers will be vanquished. Lee Sin's just really good. And playing Lee Sin on turn four. Uh, you know, makes that deck. You know, makes just any Lee Sin deck just miles better. Alright, that was not atrocity. No. <laughs> you know, it's just like. It's kind of like Riot can't win. It's either. Complain that Lee Sin's not playable or complain Lee Sin's too good. It's gotta be somewhere in between. Am I keeping Glimpse Beyond against an Avalanche deck? Like, we'll mulligan the Darius, we'll keep the two precious pets. Um, I'll mulligan Glimpse Beyond. It's not a bad card. But I think that we're going to want to try to be more aggressive. I know what lurks in the shadows. Wish I had that one more mana. Be able to play this. Attack. Maybe they don't block. Darn. You dare. So if I don't play the precious pet and get the two damage in, we could we could have had the crawling sensation. Ouch, that hurts. That hurts. I pull the string. But we'll just play another one. Is that the bitter batter, little feet? Let's go, host. We could use a bite. Maybe a vengeance. Withering whale. Not as good for me. So they'd rather keep their Weirding Stones alive than have five life. Big plans for this Weirding Stones. That's a very quick pass. It's probably saying like, like is that saying like I'm, I'm gonna cast Ruination? What's that noise? Weak willed fool. Yep. Well. 
So the reason why not straight to attack is is because of a card like Withering Whale that would have um, kept them alive. And I was I was just playing you know a hapless aristocrat, which doesn't really matter if the hapless aristocrat gets ruinationed. The people are my strength. I smell a fight. Death itself can't stop me. So, don't have to worry about atrocity, right? Like, we're not in atrocity range right now. The seed. The seed. They've had quite an anti aggro hand with, you know, multiple Vile Feasts, multiple Withering Whales, a Grasp of the Undying, and a Ruination, all of that. So, we know they did not have Ruination last turn, because they would have just played Ruination last turn if they had it. They would not have played Trindamir, they would have just played Ruination when I had four things out and just one card in hand. So, none of these cards are Ruination, except for they may have just drawn a second Ruination. That's That's got to be really unlikely. They just drew another Ruination. If I attack, what could they possibly have? They could have Grasp. I can't even have Grasp and Whale. What, what could possibly keep them alive? They don't have the mana for that. Try me. I guess Vengeance plus Vile Feast would keep them alive, or like Vengeance plus Unspeakable Horror. That keeps them alive. Alright, I should have played Darius. Oh no 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 this this does the damage to them. Okay, that kills them. Okay, never mind. Whew. I'm just thinking that those other two didn't do any damage. Okay. They who endure. So I definitely like the Elise. Guess we mulligan the host. This is a matchup where leveling up Elise is critical, and so having a backup Elise, if they kill one, it was really nice. Because they're going to have a, a bunch of little crappy blockers, and so getting Fearsome, like Fearsome's going to be critical. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna attack I'm just gonna attack out right now. Before they can, you know, play a Ravens Butcher or Glimpse Beyond or something to make that a 4-3. And yeah, we'll have Spider Die, but we'll get more spiders. I like that we have the attack token turn five for Arachnoid Host. I'm not gonna be playing this crawling sensation, I'm gonna save this. So that if this Elise dies, fear. we have the backup. There's nothing to fear. Now you've gone and upset it. The plan is next turn. These all have fearsome. I play the host. Give them plus two, plus zero. And boom. Lots of damage. There you are. All right, pass turn. Come, come this way. Skitter out from the darkness. I think I just let this happen. Because this will give me five spiders again, which is, you know, just as many as we can have before playing the host this next turn. Yeah, I wish I could play that skitter too. 
Then I still have Vile Feast for some kind of interaction if we need it. I don't want to... I didn't, There's no reason to block Elise because then that would just give them the opportunity to maybe kill my Elise with a, a Vile Feast or something similar. Yeah, Fury of the North. It's the best card in the format they could have. It's annoying. Alright, well, they're still alive. It's unfortunate. Because now we have an Elise down. And we used our other Elise. Down to eight. All right, GGs. There we go, two and one. Fiora Aurelian Soul. Looks like we got Fiora Dragons. Um, we could go wide. It's not the best plan against Fiora, though. Like, Fiora loves if you try to go wide with little things like this. I would much rather have Elise on turn two than House Spider. Can this work? I feel like this can work. Mulligan this House Spider. Okay. That's a good card for going wide. And that's a good card for this hapless aristocrat. Did it move? Not bad. I must get out of here. All right, down to 16. Maybe our opponent does not have Fiora. That would be pretty cool. No Fiora, please. Okay, no Fiora. That's pretty cool. I guess I should be blocking and then doing this. That'd make more sense. Could save three life. Scorching light. Yeah, like I could just be at twenty right now instead of seventeen. Oh well. You so that's unfortunate they have the four mana four four. That was a very good card to have. Yeah, especially how it's growing, so it grows out of Alfie Strange. It's unfortunate. I could double Vile Feast and kill this 5-2. I guess I'd do that. I mean, otherwise, I could I could just play this host and just go straight to combat and try to have lethal, but then, you know, obviously single combats, concerted strikes, all that kind of stuff. And it's like, I can only have one extra spider anyway. Ooh. Come closer. That's probably better than killing that white white flame protector. Let me change you into something more comfortable. I don't know, maybe it's not even better. Yeah, honestly, maybe that was just worse. Okay, so if I go Darius. If I go Darius, they have concerted strike. They take six. Nah, it's just this.
Oh, judgment. What am I doing? Now. They always have the, the best possible card. You gotta learn. Just it's always the best possible card. Is is the best possible card a, a, you know on turn four a four four? Then they have it. Is it on turn five? Is it a five five with spell shield? Then they got it. On turn six, is it judgment? Then they got it. Whatever the best possible card is, they're gonna have it. So I should probably just get used to playing around it. I still don't, honestly, I just don't hate that play. Still, it's just can't be that likely that they have judgment, right? I don't hate that play. Now we're probably looking at just drawing into like atrocity. GG's. Learn this. Alright, on over to us. Um, we're just going to keep everything except for the 5 mana card with the host. Uh, actually, you know what? On second thought, we'll just keep the Aragnite host also. Let's we'll keep them all. Playing against Pirate Burn. This is going to be a tough one to win to go 3 2. Pirate Burn's a real good deck. Out from the so this is going to be a tough one. That's a great 2 drop to be able to block my Elise. Doesn't scare me. Um, but we still get an extra Spiderling for our trouble. We take 1 damage and get a Spiderling. GG's, I guess my opponent's saying. So they're probably saying that I'm going to die. Yeah, I do have a whole bunch of nothing going on. Yeah, they got they really like to let me know that they're going to win this game. Wow, our hand is horrible. Not very good. You fight or you swim. Oh, <laughs> you don't think I understand the game's been over? So the host can block Gangplank for us. Love ya. So it's us taking a whole bunch of damage. I think my best play is probably Darius. It's not 10 power yet. So I guess they want to block with Petty Officer and then use a spell to kill my Darius. Is it possible we just don't attack with Darius? Is it possible we don't attack with Darius? No, I think we attack. Yeah, I think that's still worth. Mega Rain is really good.
That card is very good. While I'd like to atrocity, we just don't get to. Even though that's what I'd like to do. That doesn't. That just does one damage. That was just a really bad Mega Rain. That was a. That was a terrible Mega Rain. Honestly, if they just don't play that Mega Rain, they probably can't lose. But now that they just wasted that Mega Rain, maybe they can. No one's the wiser. For the Empire. Okay, we still got a shot. Not out of it yet. Host and then Skitterer. No, I think we go Skitter first. And then Host. Gotta go with the oh, really? Well, that's gonna just draw a spell. They've already played three Mega Rain, so I can't so they're not gonna be drawing Mega Rain. So that's just gonna be drawing Noxion Fervor or Oh my gosh. I guess one of the Mega Rains was a misfortune. Never stop shooting. Okay, so I'm down to one. Timing is everything. Oh, they're blocking with Legion Saboteur still. So they're going to just try to have Misfortune. I was going to say, like, Misfortune and Legion Saboteur can still do one. All right, so we're going to... So, like, they'll be able to do one with Misfortune, but we'll have Atrocity. Oh, two of them were Misfortune? Okay. I didn't... I wasn't really paying attention, honestly. With those. So... So they have to draw the burn spell to kill me, right? Like, they still get the priority even after that because, like, they're still going to have lethal. And so it's up to me to respond. Um, doesn't Blocking that thing doesn't matter. All right, GG's. Oh, I get to do GG emo. I don't, you know, I muted them after a while, so I don't know if they were still emoting. That was a good win right there. <laughs> that was a good win. Three and two. <laughs> that that should probably go on the games of the week, right? Yeah. All right, that's games of the week. Okay, I'll put that one on there. That was good. All right, there's spider aggro. Um, yeah, looked good. Looked good. Arachnoid host looked awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely really impressed by this card. Uh, those last few games, it really looked solid. Um, yeah, it looked great. So that card was very good. Um, honestly, everything about our deck worked out pretty well. Like, Crawling Sensation was better than expected, but, like, Crawling Sensation was just super important to make Crowd Favorite and Arachnoid Host uh, even better. Usually with spider decks, I go more like burn style and less spiders. And this one focused a lot more on spiders and going wide. And I think it worked out really well, uh, especially with, with having um, these two cards at our top end. They were both great. You know, so like Elise, crowd favorite, Arachnid host, all awesome. So I think it worked out really well. All right. So that's, uh, that's spider aggro those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i'd really appreciate those but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video